This video is brought to you by the book In Flight Emergencies, a step-by-step -step guide to handling the unexpected. Inside the book, Jason shares his stories and dozens of others in addition to video from actual emergencies. Visit InFlightEmergencies.com to learn more and grab your copy. Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and welcome into day 19 now of our 31 day to safer pilot challenge where we are continuing that discussion about emergencies when flying at night. And I, I want to emphasize here, I am not trying to scare anyone away from night flying. That's not my intent at all. I really just want to educate you guys on, uh, you know, some, some dangers of possibly flying at night uh, so you can better equip yourself and become a safer pilot because of it. And a lot of that, and you'll see how this, this all ties together, kind of comes with setting higher personal minimums for yourself. You guys know I am big on written down in stone personal minimums because if they're not written down, you're not going to take action on them. They're going to they're be flexible all the time. You need to have those set in stone personal minimums. And just to be honest with you, I mean, unless it is a clear, beautiful night with some sort of moon at night, I'm not going flying. I mean, I have, I, you know, I have no need to. You know, I'm, I'm very much a fair weather flyer like you guys. Yes, I have my instrument rating. Yes, I teach instrument stuff. But there is no need to go flying on a, you know, a nasty night where, where a cold front's ripping through or anything like that. There is no need to do that. I have those same higher personal minimums that you guys should as well especially when it comes to flying at night. Another thing, and again, you'll see how this all ties together uh, to our emergencies at night, is trusting those instruments. Um, we have an airport here uh, locally called Cedar Key. It's right here on the, uh, it's on the Gulf Coast, and it literally is just night operations prohibited. Because what happens is these pilots were, and unfortunately they still do, you can put something like that, you know, night operations prohibited and people for whatever reason still go and try it um, because you literally you take off and the uh, the little island you're on is very dark already but when you take off you're looking straight out to the ocean and there are no lights out there I mean so literally you just take off into what seems like a black hole and pilots quickly become disoriented and end up swimming uh, and for, that's just the honest truth. I mean, there's a plaque warning pilots about it there, but for some whatever reason, people still try it. Um, you need to learn to trust those instruments. I mean, flying at night, flying on a dark night, VFR. You know, you're you're totally VFR. It can be clear, not a cloud in the sky. But if there are you know no stars in the sky, um, if there are no lights on the ground, you might as well be IFR. It feels like no reference to the horizon. I mean, isn't that the definition? Um, and again, you only need three hours of nighttime, three hours of simulated instrument time uh, to get your private pilot certificate and you're out there doing it on your own. Um, I really recommend some advanced training. If, even if you never plan on getting your instrument rating, get out there and get under the hood with a friend just to get that scan practice, get that stuff under your belt, uh, which ties us into the last little thing here and something that, that all pilots essentially worry about, especially when flying at night, and that is that, um, that scary situation, that engine failure at night. Um, if you were to have an engine failure at night, there's very few options. You know, I've heard, and this is a scary statement I've heard people say, you know, they say, oh, go for the darkest area. I mean, are you kidding me? That darkest area could be a lake, it could be trees, it may be that lucky field you're hoping for, but don't, don't fall for that sort of stuff. If you have an engine failure at night, you need to go to where the lights are. You unfortunately need to go to roads. I'm not a big fan of landing on roads, but you know what, at night you don't have any other option. There's also other well-lit areas. You know, there could be, um, you know, we have a lot of recreation facilities around here that have, you know, big soccer fields, assuming, you know, you're not endangering anybody else. Uh, you know, big parking lots that are, uh, you know, lit up, but not a lot of people there. Um, you know, you've got to go to where the lights are, unfortunately, in that situation. Um, the engine failure at night, I mean, this is why I make my personal minimum so high at night. Because if I'm going to have a problem, I want the odds in my favor. And the fact that it's dark is already putting me um, against some great odds. You know, why would I want to add some nasty winds or some low ceilings and nasty weather um, to that situation? 
you know, just not a situation I want to find myself in. So I want to end it with this, guys. Some great recommended reading you may not have heard of. There's a book called The Pilot's Night Flying Handbook, and there's a link to it underneath this video on saferpilotchallenge.com. Literally, I'm talking this book is $5, probably shipped to your door if you're in the United States. Um, just, it's that inexpensive. It's an older book. It was published back in the 70s. Um, but the information is still very, very relevant. Some awesome stuff. And for under five bucks, um, you know, it's a no-brainer kind of purchase. So like I said, uh, on saferpilotchallenge.com, day uh, 19, the link is underneath this video. So you can uh, grab that book on Amazon real quick. Great read, very inexpensive. And it's really going to help make you a safer pilot during your night flying. So that's all I have for you guys today. Talk with you more tomorrow about supplemental oxygen. So I'll chat with you guys more tomorrow. And most importantly, guys, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.